In Washington, Joe Lewis steps back inside the ropes to make his bow as a wrestler. Cowboy Rocky Lee is his opponent, a 23-stone hunk of man with a carefully nurtured reputation as a meanie. There's all the usual clawing and pawing, spiced with some authentic Lewis action. Playing his role of villain to the hilt, Lee gets a warning from referee Jersey Joe Walcott, himself a former heavyweight champ. Lee has a bash at the ref for luck, then turns to deal with the other Joe. But the old brown bomber has other ideas. He thinks there are too many people in the ring anyway. No, Joe, we'd rather remember you as you were. Sitting beside me, the former heavyweight champion of the world, and truly one of the all-time greats in the sports world, Joe Lewis. Joe, it's real good to see you again. Well, nice to see you again. I'm saying it's a real pleasure to be back in Philadelphia again. <laughs> well, uh, as I think everyone in the sports world knows now, uh, Joe Lewis has turned professional wrestler. Now, uh, Joe, there has been quite a bit of criticism about it in the newspapers. I know that you've read it, and uh, I'd like to know how you feel about it. Well, I, I feel like anything else that's being criticized when I think I'm right. I'm trying to, no, don't everyone will agree with my idea of what I've done, but I'm sure that, that more people do agree with me than, than the ones who don't. Joe, I don't think anybody would question that. You've always been a true great in the sports world, and you'll always be remembered as that. I'm, I'm quite certain of that. Joe, as a professional wrestler... Uh, training, you have to do some of it. Uh, do you have to do as much as when you were uh, boxing? Well, I think you probably have to do more. Because, well, at least when Buddy Rogers been training me lately, I think you have to do more because I would wake up three or four hours a day. When I was only when I was fighting, I only trained probably about an hour and a half a day. Now, wrestling too, you have to uh, work uh, three, four, maybe even five nights a week, correct? Oh, that's true. Uh, but the difference in wrestling and boxing is that I don't have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to do roadway. <laughs> I guess that's all right with you. Isn't that's right, <laughs> wonderful with me. Uh, you've been on this circuit now for just about a month. Do you intend to uh, to continue as a wrestler? Is this a, a period when you're trying to find out whether you really want to do it or not? Well, uh, my condition now in wrestling would be only part-time. So I'm still connected with four... Uh, proper business of mine, that's like International Boxing Club, and Joe Lewis Milk Company in Chicago, and Joe Lewis Public Relations Office with Billy Rowe in uh, New York, and Insurance Company in Detroit. But during that time, uh, I, will, I will wrestle. Uh, you've been a champion in one sport. Uh, would you have any idea that perhaps you would like to win the uh, the title in professional wrestling? Well, that would be an honor, but I think Luther is, is a little too tough for me right now. <laughs> Joe, I didn't know anybody was too tough for you, and uh, if you keep it this long enough, I'm I'm certain that you'll prove that you're just as tough as Lewis. Oh, no, by the way, I think we got a new champion there. I think that I think Whipple Watson out of Toronto, Canada's in there. I think he's too tough too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's join Joe on the grunt and groan circuit and judge for ourselves just how tough the former heavyweight boxing champion of the world can be. That mountain of muscle and suet in the long underwear is Cowboy Rocky Sky High Lee. His name is just about as long as his waistline is round. Nonetheless, he claims to be an honorable and fearless performer. If nothing else, they dance well, but who's leading? Ooh, a booming right hand by Sky High Lee lands flush in the Brown Bomber's breadbasket. While Joe doubles up in agony, Cowboy Lee assures the referee that everything's on the up and up. Every wrestling script calls for a villain, and Sky High Lee was never known to win a popularity contest. Poor Joe, he breaks clean and almost has his ribs broken. Boxing was never like this. After being KO'd by the tax collectors, Lewis was hoping to pick up pin money in the groan and grunt league. Right now, all he's picking up is a headache. Two can play this game, says Joe, but Rotund Rocky will have no part of a fisticuff battle. Maybe it's better that way, for if Joe ever pumped a right in the cowboy's expansive jelly-like belly, his hand could be lost for a week. So far, the cowboy's been in the saddle all the way. 
He's giving Joe a liberal education in the do's and don'ts of wrestling, but Joe is still the sentimental favorite with the crowd. Ah, the worm is turning as Lewis lathers Lee with some of his famous perpetual motion punching. The cowboy bears a slight resemblance to two-ton Tony Galletta, and now he's about to get a taste of what Tony got. There it is, and that's how it's done. Good clean fun, but kind of a come down for one of the greatest boxers of all time, Joe Lewis. 